Happening today, the legal fight over abortion rights in Florida set to take center stage in Tallahassee. This morning, the state Supreme Court is expected to hear arguments on whether a proposed amendment to the current law should be on the November ballot. News 6's Mark Lehman joins us now. And Mark, this comes after a big push to get enough signatures to allow voters to decide. It's all centered around a group called Floridians Protecting Freedom. Their website calling for people to pledge a vote in favor of allowing abortion access and also allowing people to click join and sign up for updates on their uh, on their cause. Now, it's recruitment efforts like this that's leading to the proposed amendment that the Supreme Court is taking up this morning. The issue of abortion is front and center in Tallahassee. Hours from now, the Florida Supreme Court will hear arguments on Amendment 4, which would let voters decide if abortion rights should be protected. Groups like Progress Florida collecting enough signatures to get the amendment on the ballot. This amendment would limit that interference in them making those decisions for themselves. Currently, Florida has a 15-week abortion ban. This amendment reads in part, no law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health as determined by the patient's health care provider. Frankly, it's saying that we trust patients to make decisions about themselves and their pregnancy. Florida's attorney general, however, says the amendment's wording is confusing and that it's designed to have a much broader meaning than voters would have ever thought. Life at 15 weeks can feel pain. This is something we didn't know uh, until more recently. And so arguments like that and information like that shows why lawmakers should have the ability to on behalf of the people decide how they can protect that, should they protect that. All of this is happening while Florida's 15-week abortion ban is currently being challenged and if upheld, the more recently signed six-week abortion ban would go into place. Today's hearing on the proposed amendment begins at 9 this morning. We will keep you updated with the developments.